Oh, you can see my mom's got these guys spoiled. They're all up waiting to be fed. Hi there, and welcome back to Stubbs Aquatics. In this episode, we're going to check out the Shabumpkins, see how they've done this year. Uh, they're in two separate ponds. Uh, they've all been bred, and let's see how they did. Some of the younger ones uh, from last year uh, have done really well in here, and uh, I put on some good growth. We've got one that's totally white now, that's kind of washed out, but that happens. It happens in koi, happens in goldfish. Barney, what are you trying to do? Hey? You can't be in every video. No, you can't. So in a pond like this, I know I've got some fry in there. Because there's a uh, one that just scooted by there. I try to crush up some flakes, and that way they get a chance to, to feed as well. Now anything that survives in here is lucky because well, the parents would eat them. But I definitely see several. So if you see five or six, you know you've got a lot more than that. Yeah, there's some cool colored ones in here actually. So I'll be anxious to trap this one out in a matter of a month and a half or so. You can definitely tell, look at the, some of those fry from last year, look how big they are. Wow. Really starting to put on some size. Like that one was a fry from this year. So was that. Look at the size of some of these. The colors are just so intense this year. I'm really happy with them. Like, wow. And that female, I'm thinking she's female just the way she's shaped there. For fries from last year, it's huge. I'm not body shaming, just so you know. But that one is going to be one big fish. She's down relatively deep, but. I think I'll keep her just because I like the, the bit of black on her and a bit of a purpley blue hue. Uh, I think I may keep her for future brood stock. A lot of choices to be made and so little tank space. Thankfully, I've got more tanks coming in. Just uh, giving this one a good clean once over, make sure it's holding water and this will be an addition to uh, my Shabumpkin uh, tanks. As well, this one that needs to be cleaned up. Uh, the Shabumpkin room will be totally changed for the next uh, season or next or this fall, actually. So you have to make sure you stay tuned for that. So this is really going to change up. A quick check on the fry here. They're really putting on some size now. Starting to color up so you can now see them. There is a lot in here. Wow. You're only seeing a small portion of them. Still a little bit shy, but there's some definitely uh, some colors that are coming up. These guys are really going to be uh, putting on some size over the next uh, month. Uh, I don't know if there'll be any more in a month and a half in here. It all depends on temperature and 
that's so changeable with the Canadian uh, climate. But the colors uh, are coming along. There's actually uh, one in here that's yellow, and I'm really going to be paying attention to that. Who knows what uh, new uh, colors are going to come up this year, especially with now that we've done selective breeding instead of just uh, flock spawn. And I've been able to sell, separate them. Just gonna have so many fry. Look at those colors. How many they are. Some of them are really getting, you know, distinct patterns already. And these are just so young. I'll be coming in in another month and a half or less depending on how the temperature holds up. A quick glimpse of the fry in the, the barrel. They're really coming along. There's some actually some really nice colors in here. There's some beauties. I can't wait to sort through these guys and just a matter of a, a month or two. There's going to be some definitely hard choices over this winter. Wow. I'm really happy with the numbers here. You can only, you can't even see down deep. Coloring is just phenomenal. All this live food and all the extra uh, quality feed that I've been giving them is really paying off. I can't believe I'm getting all this out of one 55 gallon barrel. Now I do do quite a few water changes and but I only run a sponge filter out of this and I've had no issues whatsoever other than a bit of ugly green algae that I have to remove periodically but hey what pond doesn't have a bit of that and because I was filming and showing the ponds of course somebody has to start a lawnmower it never fails anyways I hope you uh, enjoyed this uh, video on my shabumpkins and how they're doing this summer uh, remember to hit that like button think about subscribing and hit that notification bell just so you get the upcoming videos uh, I really appreciate it take care everyone enjoy what's left of the summer bye now